Do me a favor. Try to keep up, all right? Listen close. First of all, I'm a hypocrite. To the shit that I'm finna spit Don't bother reading too much into it Just afraid that my life's got no purpose I'm so nervous My piece of shit cell phone is no service I could go for up, verses Being down on my luck Got bird shit raining down on my truck Unexpectedly Every night I smoke a blunt and watch Jeopardy That poor some public schools education got the best of me Look, don't get it twisted There's nothing trivial about this shit Happy Star Wars Wednesday, y'all I don't give a fuck that it's National Taco Day You know why? Because every day is National Taco Day Taco fucking day in my life. This day is not National Taco Day. This is fucking stupid. And go buy all of Jad W's taco shit for four dollars right now because of it. Go do it right now. Yes, I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling it today, you guys. Like I needed it. I needed to look forward to this. I needed this pin to be in the mailbox, and it was playing came through, the mailbox came through, the mailman through getting a new roof on my house today. Seriously, no, seriously. The ordeal that I'm going through in the Ryan life, aside from the pin pirate life right now, is just, I can't even, so to, to, to have all that going on and be able to look forward to not only revealing a pin, but also releasing it, coinciding the release, and it was under the wire, Clay. It was under the wire. What's up, Fred? What's up, Nexus Zombie? Doe Eye Supply, Data Crew, Wade & Co., Vintage Poison, Pin Pal Club, Dexter, Sue Black Toes, Mike Die. What's up, Blank Slate, Alex? Obviously, Clay is in the room, you guys. We got Camp Pin Drops. Woot woot. Here it is. Um, so I've had to kind of switch the music up. If y'all don't recognize the music, that's because the music is friends of mine. So if you really want to know who the musicians are, I'll tell y'all uh, another time. But um, I've been looking through the YouTube, like I said, and I can't put up. I don't want to do it. So the bigger we get, the more I don't want to risk it. Seriously. I don't want to have to have something come bite us in the ass later because I left some videos up with some Kanye songs or some Dre songs or something. You know what I mean? As much as we love listening to it. Look, the reason why I can work with everything else is because they don't put their shit on YouTube. Everybody else who live streams great music or whatever, their shit doesn't get saved on any platform. I keep mine for the pin content that we're looking through. That if some, like, you know, anyway. Because if you look at my Instagram and go back and look at my photos, you can see at what time period they were posted. And then you go look on the YouTube and see what time period the stream was. And you can look through that and find the stream that had the pin in it. And boom, there it is. You know, it's kind of the beginning of the pin decks. My YouTube coupled with the live streams coupled with my Instagram is the foundation of the Pindex coupled with me and all of you. We are the, the Pindex. So the next steps of the Pindex are just continuing to build the relationships with all the makers and the manufacturers and the designers and the collectors, the real collectors and the newcomers. No, no, I'm not saying that newcomers aren't real. What I'm saying is people that actually are looking for value in their pins and care about their pins and care about the pin community and give a fuck about more than the almighty dollar. And that's kind of what I'm getting at with the stream's thesis tonight. It's tough times, my friends. It's tough times. It's tough times for everybody. I mean, this week alone has been just unbelievably difficult to swallow. And if you're like me and you have any kind of empathy in your soul, you feel it in your bones and you feel it in everything. So that's it. What's up, Ari? Glad you made it. Dan the biology man. The group the groovy one. Camp pen drops. You like that Jedi case? You like that Jedi case? Uh, what was it? What's originally in the Jedi case is even cooler than the Jedi case. It's a Jedi Bible. It's like a Jedi book of how to be a Jedi. It's so cool. Something someone gave to me a long time ago. Friend. Fuck the man. Goaty, what's up? So, what I'm saying here is that 
and welcome in all the San Diego people who are joining. We're going to get to the San Diego stuff here in just a minute, trust me. But going forward, let's think about the overall tone of life aside from the pins and how pins can help reflect the times and make it relevant when you wear one and start a conversation. Start a conversation over a pen. That's all I'm going to say. Think about that. So anyway, next weekend, I'm going to be down in San Diego with a bunch of 45 plus other people selling and displaying and trading and playing around with fucking pens. And I couldn't be more excited about it. We're all adults. 21 and up. Only. It's 57 degrees on October the 14th. Punchy Chewy Press and BB Create are bringing you the first ever Pen and Patch show in San Diego, and I get to be the social media face for it, and I can't believe it in a way. I really can't, but I'm so excited and I'm so pumped, and I'm looking forward to it so much. Uh, we're putting in a lot of work behind the scenes to make this like so much more special in any other way for San Diego, and uh, to bring some flair and flavor that LA loves about San Diego. Me personally, I love San Diego, and no hating on LA, but it is my favorite city in California, in, in that I visited and stayed in for more than a night, okay? It is my favorite place to be, is San Diego. And I'm gonna show y'all why over the next week, once we start next week, why, okay? Um, what's up, Mo? It's gonna be so much fun, I'm really looking forward to it. We are gonna have a trading post there. We're gonna have probably the first ever trading post at a pin show. Like, I'm sure there have been, like, trading areas or, like, people have traded, but this is official and, and like, sanctioned by the show itself. And, and, and so, there are going to be rules and regulations of the trading post, including in hours of operation. And the hours of operation are as such, they will be from 2 o'clock till 4 o'clock, two hours. You get two hours to trade in the trading post. And, yeah, because... It's about the pin show, not about the pin post. And we want that to be a nice feature of the show and not a, not a you know, more or less uh, distraction from the show, you know? So we think two to four is good. And if I, I'm gonna be there at the beginning and the end and a lot in the middle, but there's gonna be time without me there because I'm gonna be running around the show doing things. So I'm gonna need some of my crewmates whom I trust and value to be there for me at the trading post to watch after everything while the captain has to go run some shit on the show. All right? So that's what's up. Um, those hours, two to four, will be a little loose depending on how I feel it's going and if it's busy or not busy or if people are doing things and it's, you know, whatever. I'm, like I said, I'm loose. So we're not going to be hard asses about it, but that's pretty much it. Now, the rules are going to be as such. Um, prepare to haggle, all right? Just prepare to say, well, this one and that one and this one and that one. Okay, well, maybe how about this one and that Okay. So you can trade as many pens as for as many pens. There's no rule to how many pens trade for a pen or multiple pens or whatever. That's up to you. <clears throat> but when it comes to the pen trading post pen board that we'll have, that will be pen for pen, and everyone can only do one pen for one pen on the board, all right? You only get one time to trade from the board at the pen trading post. Just gonna say, all right? The board overall, that's like the community board, so to speak, all right? Come with options. Don't just bring one, two pins. I'm talking, you guys gotta bring some pins to trade, all right? You know I'm not rolling with like a handful. I'm rolling with a bag, and probably I'm gonna throw a whole bunch of my own pins up on the community board. So, and I will probably highlight some of those as we approach it next week. Um, Bring a vessel, speaking of my bag, bring a vessel to showcase your pins uh, that you have to trade and like, just so you know what the difference is between the pins you're trading and the pins you've traded for or bought. I had a problem with that at Pins and Pints. I had people open in my bag and I was like, no, 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 no. Zip that, daddy ba that bad boy back up. What's inside is mine. What's outside is for trade. So that's just the barrier there and you should really respect that as a trader because it can get messy trading at a pin show all right you gotta have separation you gotta know where things are because money and pins and cards and stickers and patches and it's hats and all kinds of other shit are trading hands as well so come with vessels for which to carry your booty all right um and be honest about your stuff 
admit the blemishes, the flaws, if it's a seconds, if something doesn't work, if it's got a letter missing or whatever, just be truthful because nine times out of 10, if I want that pen, I don't give a fuck what about, about any flaw. I'm gonna want that fucking pen if it caught my eye and I didn't see the flaw myself. Or even if I see the flaw, I'll say, you know, this has a flaw in it. I still dig it though. Do you think you could trade me another one for something too? Or maybe two for one and I could, you could pick a better pen of mine and blah, 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 you know, like whatever. Um, and that, that leads into being fair. We want you to be fair with what you're bringing and understand the value of the pens and the quality of the pens. And, you know, I hope that if you're trading and you've been watching my stream or if you start watching my stream now leading up to, I'll show you the difference between a very high value, top quality pen that's collectible and, you know, probably could be sought after or bought for a higher price one day or traded for for a higher value pen, whatever. Um, it, can, it can be done and it can be done fairly. So we hope that. No buying pins at the trading post. There will be no cash exchanges or, or electronic exchanges. If you want to do that, do that after the, outside the trading post or in the parking lot or whatever. Um, if we catch you in the trading post exchanging cash at all, you will be tossed out of the show. That's a no-no. There are plenty of vendors and makers that are here at this show to show you what they got. And we hope that you respect that and appreciate that and don't do business on the side in the trading post like that. Trades, okay. That leads me to thievery. This is a trusting community. And I'm talking about any kind of theft. Any kind of theft. That includes intellectual property. That includes ideas tossed around at this show. That includes all communications there within, drunken conversations that are going to occur, high conversations that are going to occur, adult conversations, mature conversations, intelligent, very articulate, very thought out and caring and passionate and engaged and interested conversations that we hope can be confidential between people here at this show. That's something that I'm very hopeful for. Um, and you know, have fun, obviously. Have fun and let's talk about them. Let's talk about stuff, you know what I'm saying? So there it is. There is the pin trading post rules and hours. Now, speaking of that, this Friday, I'm not gonna be streaming on my channel. I'm gonna be streaming on the San Diego Pin and Patch account. So you're gonna have to go watch me there to watch my stream Friday night from the nightcap with Move in Silence, BB Create, and Nerd Pins um, down at Cosmic Brewery in Torrance. So I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there straight away, probably a little after it starts, but I'm not really gonna stream the official stream until later, probably about eight o'clock as my usual time. So, that being said, I'm gonna do a little pre-stuff and we might be doing some pre-stuff on BB's channel. We might be doing some stuff on Moving Silences, which he never does live anything. So that could be interesting. And we could do maybe something on Nerd Pens with Joe. So be following those accounts as well. And cross streaming has begun officially with the Pin Pirate Network. The Pin Network is officially starting right now. Because tonight, also, after this stream, Fred over at Midnight Dogs is going to do a live Inktober drawing, day four. Um, and I can't wait to see what he came up with. Because comes up with because last night he came up with, he did the Sarah Jessica Parker dog on, um, on what's his name? I forgot now. Fifi or whatever. But, you know, there we go. Um, but he's doing some awesome drawings. And I'm really stoked to see what he comes up with tonight. And also... Uh, Thursday night, uh, Will over at Bummer Days is going to do a Trivia Thursday for his new pin on Tuesday of next week. So that's also going to be a part of the pin network. All right? Um, and that's pretty fucking exciting, honestly. Um, but the, the nightcap is uh, going to have some... If you're around, anywhere around, and you can come, it's going to last till 10 o'clock at night. So you have plenty of time to get over there, and you know it's not going to end, like, immediately, probably. You know Joe ha lingers and hangs out and, like, sells pins until they kick him the fuck out. So, you know, like, that's what's up. That's what's up with that. Um, what else? Um, that's it. Okay. Yo, okay. Can I tell you? Clay Graham. <laughs> Clay approached me a while back and said, Hey man, do you have a Star Wars Wednesday open anytime in October ish? And I was like, Dude, for you, I have a Star Wars Wednesday anytime. If you're doing a Star Wars pin, 
I said pretty much exactly what Kingpin said. I said, just shut up. I don't even need to know what it is. Shut up and take my money, basically. It's like, I'm down. Like, totally, dude. What is it? I mean, I am geeked out, man. It's Look. Y'all don't know how fucking political I am. I don't bring the politics really big in here, but I... I want. I can't wait to do it. And we're doing it tonight, actually. That's it. We're doing it tonight. The politics is coming into shit tonight, y'all. Not my emperor. Alright? This is no fucking joke here. Alright? Clay Graham is the fucking man. And he's done it again. Okay? Star Wars from the man... We're calling this one Intergalactic Civil War. I'm just going to give you the title right now. And it's called Intergalactic Civil War. And at first when he approached me with the pen, I was like, dude, I love this fucking pen. I would love to have something else of it too. And what's great about it is I have the other thing too. So... We have two releases tonight, not just one, but two releases from Clay Graham tonight, which is even more fucking exciting and awesome. So, shall we get to it? Do you want to see the fucking pin? Shall we see the fucking pin? Shall I release the pin? Oh shit, I just forgot that opens. There it is. <laughs> Sultan didn't like that. Sultan, it's okay. But there it is, you guys. Can you even see it? I bet you can't. It's so tiny. It's so perfect. And I mean, from that perspective, it's tiny. But it's so perfect in a way of its tininess. Because it is a period of civil war. No corresponding music. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is a period of civil war. Boom. That's it. It is. Is it not, though? Is it not, though, so timely and so relevant for us and our, and our time? And our time. It is the new period of civil war. I feel like I am in a fucking nightmare in my country. I feel like I can drive down the street in Los Angeles and I still run into Trump people and I cannot believe how far and how wide and how vast the evil has spread into the sanctuary of my life. How clean is this? This is going to be on sale immediately after the stream. And the promo tonight is, is if you spend over 15 bucks tonight in Clay's store, you get $5 off with Civil War. You got to put in Civil War, all right? I'm putting the code in right now. You don't like this music though? Bubble goose, nowhere near the bubble, never subtle with the number two ninja. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I should have had this set already. But I'm doing this upside down. Do y'all see that? See how upside down that is? There it is, y'all. Oh, actually, we should look at the backing card. Because it's A++. A short time in a galaxy quite near.
it's just so poignant and perfect. I mean, look, I always say less is more, y'all. Less is more. It is such a period of civil war. So much so that I had to have a fucking t-shirt of it, y'all. Get off me. Get off me. I had to have it. I said, Clay, this pin belongs on a fucking t-shirt. No, seriously. This is it. This is the t-shirt of all Star Wars fucking t-shirts right here. Is it not? Is it not? This is my fucking Last Jedi shirt right here. Fuck yeah, it is. That's it. That's your Star Wars stream for the night. I love you guys. Go watch Fred. All right. So 15 for five off. And also the t-shirt you can find on his Neato shop. Dot com slash artist slash Clay Graham art. It's really hard to find. Just go to Neato.com and search Clay Graham art. Or I think you can, he has a, a link on his page from the page he has on his Instagram too. I think. I think so. I think so. So look. Y'all, get out there, talk to people, have the hard conversations with them about what the fuck is going on out there. Because I'm sick and fucking tired of turning on the... I don't turn on the TV. Of opening up Twitter and seeing what the fuck I'm getting blown up about. Like, I'm tired of it. I can't, I can't wake up anymore without knowing Jackass is doing something stupid as fuck to, to ruin the representation of my... Look, I went to a college of one of the founding fathers, James Madison's in the heartland of Virginia. The, the foundation of this country runs in my, blame, in my blood, like it's in my veins, especially having Native American heritage on the other side of my shitty white heritage. I try to reconcile that with like being the, the best white, like righteous, like fighter for the, the good that I can because I'm like the only, I thought I was the only good white guy, but thank God there are other good white guys out there and I'm not the only fucking one because man, it's tough. I fucking hate my white people right now. I fucking hate you all because you're making us look awful. And we're not awful. I fucking hate it. So get out there and fucking show what side of the Civil War you're on, all right? Fuck yeah. I'm fucking pumped. It's okay to be white if you're a good fucking white person. Stop hating on everybody else because they're not white. It's stupid as fuck. It's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. I fucking despise it. I fucking despise it. Anyway, that's what makes people want to kill themselves. Stupid shit like that. To make people feel like they control what they look like. I fucking hate the shells. That's why Instagram was great, because there was no appearance of this face or the shell. But, you know, it's not about... Oh, I'm also wearing Our Lady of Hope tonight by Clay as well. Just to interrupt. So, sorry, I forgot. Anyway, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Love y'all. Peace, love, and yard. All right. Love you guys. I'm a happy cruise, yeah, to pools there and chasing out.